member for Vancouver Point Grey. You know, I'm kind of curious about whether... Members. Please continue. Thank you. I'm, I'm kind of curious about whether the finance minister is going to be supporting this legislation, Honourable <laughs> Speaker. <laughs> Yeah. Honourable Speaker, BC Liberal donors Suncom Realty and their principals are raising eyebrows again. This time, founder Kevin Sun is in the news for being linked to a massive corruption scheme in China, which has led to allegations of tax evasion and money laundering in the lower mainland housing market. About half a billion dollars in residential real estate transactions have been implicated, and no regulator appears to know who should be investigating. Now, the leader of the official opposition has proposed an integrated task force of police, Crown Council, auditors to look at transactions exactly like this. So, Honourable Speaker, if the Premier wants to do something, maybe she'll stand up today and say that she supports the creation of an integrated team just like this to chase money laundering and tax evasion in the BC real estate market. Minister of Finance. Thanks, uh, Madam Speaker. There were a series of questions. I'll answer the, uh, the first one that the member uh, posed, and then I'm sure I'll have an opportunity to, uh, to answer the second one. Madam Speaker, make no mistake about it. I and every member of the government support the legislation that was tabled. Yeah. And, 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 we, and we do, and we do Madam Members. Speaker. Members. The chair will hear the question and the answer. And we do, Madam Speaker, because it is uh, an approach uh, rooted in fact, not conjecture. And I understand how difficult I understand how difficult it is for uh, the member opposite uh, and his colleagues uh, to actually develop public policy on the basis of evidence, on the basis of data, on the basis of statistical information that can be relied upon. And yet, uh, that is precisely what the, uh, the government has done, uh, Madam Speaker. We believe that in a circumstance where uh, demand is clearly outstripping supply in a part of the province, it is appropriate, armed with the data that we now have, to take steps to address that, to provide some relief, to minimize, in the case of international demand, uh, to reduce some of that demand, while we do something that is fundamentally important, and that is work together as three levels of government to increase supply of housing, Madam Speaker, so that that dream of owning a home is available for all British Columbians, those that wish to purchase, and importantly, Madam Speaker, also those who wish to rent. Vancouver Point Grey on a supplemental. Well, no surprise, Honourable Speaker, that the Premier won't rise and say that a BC Liberal donor who helps pay for her stipend should be investigated by an integrated team. Now, BC Superintendent of Real Estate forwarded this case to the disgraced Real Estate Council of BC, but told the media she couldn't say whether, in fact, it was her office that was responsible here. Revenue Canada and the RCMP refused to investigate. Anti-money laundering agency Fintrax said they're not an investigative agency. Now, former RCMP organized crime unit investigator said that this case, quote, has many alarming red flags. Many alarming red flags about a BC Liberal donor, Honourable Speaker, and this government refuses to put in place the integrated team to investigate, Honourable Speaker, again, to the Premier. Will she put the team in place? Minister of Finance. Uh, thanks, Honourable Speaker. It's interesting we're having uh, this exchange today in uh, question period on a day uh, when, of course, significant changes uh, are, uh, we hope, uh, with the support of the uh, Legislative Assembly, uh, about to take effect. Changes that include uh, the creation for the first time of a dedicated <laughs> superintendent of real estate who will not have other duties but will be focused uh, exclusively on the real estate, uh, on the real estate side uh, of the equation. Uh, on a day when we are uh, poised, again, with the support of the legislature, and I didn't hear uh, the member express a view, although I'm sure he will at some point, uh, to uh, eliminate self-regulation, his colleague mentioned it, and to significantly increase the oversight authority and rulemaking authority of that dedicated superintendent of real estate. Uh, Madam Speaker, British Columbians deserve, are entitled 
uh, to know that the real estate sector is being regulated in a way that protects, first and foremost, the public interest, and today we are taking important steps to ensure that that is so.